Hello everyone, Andy here, welcome back to the channel. So I'm glad to finally have Steve back with his, as it's known, the Fat Fiesta. For over a year ago that I've actually had this on the channel and I know Steve, when we spoke last at Ford Fair that we were gonna try and do an update video but with the heat, just didn't really happen. A lot of people were going home early and yeah. So anyway, but to be honest, I'm actually glad that we have left it a little bit later because he's done a hell of a lot more. I mean, even just on the face of it, it looks totally it different. The bump has been like, lifted up. The bump has been lifted oh, up. Oh, has it been lifted up? I've had, so, I've had brackets fabricate, so it sits up proper now. To be honest, that's probably better than mine um, because I noticed that actually. Like, yeah, the little, um, if you can sort of see the gap there is yeah. so nice and crisp and neat. And that's a big problem with a lot of these. Now, I don't know what the fitment's Tentative like. Group, yeah, yeah, so I'm guessing it's the same anyway with this, yeah. but mine, I did do it. And if anyone is interested, actually, I'll pop a little thing in the top right corner because that is a big common issue with these. But the headlights make a massive difference straight off. I have honestly, I've never seen anything like that. They, you know what they remind me of a little bit? Like sort of insect eyes. That's cool, let's have a look. Yeah, there you go. That's all it is, simple as that. So if we look at it now, I can yeah. change it to green. Blue. That's cool. Yeah. That's like so cool. But if you change it back to auto, there's about 200 functions. Auto, and that just does. Just change all different features, different colours. Yeah, effects. that is ace. But what's weird is, is I do want to see. And I know you said you've had a couple of issues with them, but I do want to see because I've never seen, on, yeah. I've never seen headlights like that before. So is that that side light, which is really cool. I like they've got the little. If you can, yeah, picking it up on camera, it's got like a little side light, like a bar, isn't it? That's right. That's yeah. cool. Then you've got the dipped. So that's dipped. So I can see. It's like the middle of yeah. the then, some you know, UFO type thing. Yeah, ah, maybe, okay, yeah. and then they fully lit up. Yeah. That's really cool. And then the hazards have changed to proper LEDs. Oh yeah, go on, what's the hazard? Oh, so the hazards are like a uh, proper like LED bulbs. Yes, yeah. you don't even need, they're that bright, aren't they? That you yeah. don't even need anything in them. That's yep. a little bit like what hopefully mine should be like. So these you bought, was it second hand? Second hand, they were But, uh, where, but they were from Custom Lights, did you uh, say? Yeah, Custom Lights UK. I do follow them, so uh, yeah. So if anyone actually, that's another thing, if anyone is actually interested in something similar to this, I guess you want to go to Custom Lights. Yeah, I don't know what the prices are like new, being custom built. I'm going to guess not cheap. In my experience, as people know who followed my channel, I've had problems with lights. But looking at them, they are really cool. Very, I've honestly never seen headlights like that. Not on these anyway. I've seen people do yes. the kind of like, not sequential, I'm not sure what you would call that, but they have the RGB halos. But those headlights are insane. So alien. What I might do as well is I'm going to show what the car actually looked like. A quick snippet. Yes. Show you what the wheels looked like originally. And I remember even I think I was quite honest in saying I didn't like them. Oh, they were but you didn't like them. They were, they were, they were like they looked a bit like Halfords wheels, oh, like proper God, cheap, God, not yeah. very nice. But these suit it so so well. So I'm guessing these are the um, these are the Focus RS, aren't they, Mark One? I've put Focus ST170 front brakes drilled and grooved on the front now. Yeah, I drove brakes last so time. God, they fit the arches so nicely, and it actually suits the yeah. the kind of you know JWRC yeah, kit exactly. so much more. Have they been um, repainted? Yes. Because they're gonna look immaculate. Sword, yeah. And I actually like that finish. It's not like you know normally what people would go for, and even me, you know, you go for gloss. But it's like it's like got a bit of a satin, like a, a, a nice it's satin a, finish. It's oh, what is it? It's oh, it's Dutch silver. It's actually not the. The original colour. That is ace. I mean, you know what? I actually really like the little RS as well. That you know, like you yeah, can get you can get away with having the RS. And then I've got, I've got ST150 rear beam in now. Proper disc brakes at the back now. We've drilled and grooved again. Brand new. God, you have spent a hell of a lot oh. compared to when I first saw it. Obviously, for me, it was amazing seeing this car because yeah. it's a bit of a unicorn car. Oh, God, There's yeah. not many with this kit, and I've always said, and I remember literally which is hilarious i did say when i saw this in person i was like if this is the color i was going to get this is what this i want to get and then and there's mine there was. which it, it's weird so i'm obviously not going to take any limelight away from this video but oh. i just want to do a quick comparison while i've got it here is let me see if i can get both in shot yeah, get both in, yeah. yours i would say is brighter yeah mine's deeper but that'll probably be because it's metallic Yes. So the metallic flake, it's a it's a slightly deeper blue yep. than yours until the light hits it. But then yours, as a whole, is a, is a brighter blady blue. Yeah. I'd sort of say. Um, yes, exactly. Yeah, it's solid. Um, already, I can see that these these look a hell of a lot smarter now. The Lambo oh, yeah. doors, gas struts. Yeah. These Those look. Just done last week. These were just redone last week. Yeah, just well, about two weeks ago. God, they look good. They look sort of, they look bright. That's the other thing is, is everything now, because I know when you had the car, like again, I'll see if I can show on video, but like 
all of this had blistered, the paint oh, didn't look very good. There was damage, yeah. there was damage all in here because really? the previous owner hadn't, obviously I'm guessing it wasn't fitted properly. Yeah. Now it is, it's not rubbing, the, 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 and they go up and they stay up because I remember you had to wait for them to get heat yeah. on them. But like, yeah, look at that. Had the new seats, same seats as you, but in red. They need yeah. to clean them like, but same seats as you. Yeah, same. Copy your on. video. Your video <laughs> yeah. mate to get us in there. So these are the ST180 Recaro seats. Yeah, new steering Which wheel. have you, I think, yeah, you've done the same as me, haven't you? So yeah. basically, you cut the rails yeah. off the Mark 7 seats, but then yeah. you've bolted the, the, sorry, the Mark 7 rail mounts, yeah. but then the rails are now mounted to the OMP frame, yeah. which is then bolted to the floor. Yeah, yeah. and that's, it is a lot better because if you oh, don't yeah. do the, if you don't, Grind the mounts off. You sit tw twenty mil higher, which does make a difference. Oh yeah, twenty yeah, mil. So I, I think these are a massive upgrade compared to especially with um, the car as well. Yeah, exactly. Being Recaro, and what I like is it's a retrofit. Yes. And to be honest, I just think I remember when I did mine, I had a few people comment say something like, "Oh, the Mark seat sits around. There's nothing wrong with them. They know." That. And I was thinking, oh, I hate them. "No, if you have, you can't. You, 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 um, you, um, you slide difference. about. You slide about yep. in them. There's not very much lumbar support. Nope. And what I didn't like about the, the Mark Six ones is, you know, the seat it yes. used to do this. It yes. pivoted. So your your back of the seat would go down and the front would go up, whereas in these the whole seat adjusts. It's so much better as a setup. Oh, so it, it is. It's it's night and day the oh, difference. Yeah. I've got um, a twin cup holder in the middle. Never had the oh my god! I just before. noticed your little gas can, uh, yeah, fire extinguisher yeah, down there. Attached. New gear That's cool. New armrest. New stereo. New well. armrest. Oh my god! It, you can probably hear uh, Steve now. Actually, this was cool, wasn't it? Yeah, the rear view. This was oh, Ace that he got installed. Yeah, they're going. So Steve's gonna just there. He goes just walk past. So that is a rear view camera in his mirror as well. So how cool is that? Oh, here you go. I'll just zoom in so you can see what he's doing. Front and rear camera at the same time. Yeah. Obviously front camera. Yeah. Back to that. If you see something that you like to see on yeah, the road. record. Record, take record off, take pictures. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And I would love that. It's all you have fit, we just want to go straight in. Did you just fit this yourself? Uh, I have a lot of electricity, you just fitted it for me. I was going to say because it's... I would love that, I would love that. It's but great. I just, like, I don't know what work is involved in regards to having it all wired in. Dead easy, dead easy. Really? Yeah, what it was, you get those ones which strap on and you hang off. Yeah, that's exactly. So well, this is to... a direct OEM replacement. You pay more, but it's only right. one cable that goes off into your roof and down into the power. So, oh, so, it's, so basically, is it running along your roof line yeah, and down, down the, the, uh, the A-pillar? Yeah. Comes with a rear view camera, which is inside the tailgate. Yeah, which see that, that the wire I'm guessing for that is is going through the yeah, that's edge right, of the feet. headlining here. Yeah, loads of cable there, no problem. Get it underneath the floor, it's done. Oh, also, we've got a glove box now. <laughs> oh, did you not have a glove box before? No, we have that whole member for the Xbox 360. <laughs> so I went to scrap it, I've got a glove box and everything. Oh my god. And then, uh, I don't know if you want to stand back, I've got the new lights on the doors now. If you stand oh, yeah. back, I'll turn them on for you. Go on then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. see, this is a new thing. Actually, you won't be able to see that well in there because it's not dark yet, but I'll do it on this side, it's a bit darker. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So, really, how are you controlling that? Just a switch here. From here? Yeah, but also so as well, I've, we've we've had this fit as well. So it works off the oh, door. Oh, that's cool. And it'll come back on again. Oh, so when the door's closed, they'll automatically it'll turn off. off. Yeah, and then when they open again, it's, it'll and just then come back up again. And if I zoom in, where is the little switch? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we've had it fitted here. Yeah. This, this is for the headlights. Oh, so turn it. The, sorry, mate. Oh, yeah. This is for the headlights. You turn it on, and obviously you'll get all that. Wait, so that's got. where you little um, yeah, little I, RGB. I had it flushed lights. in. This was a blank, so we had it flushed in. Yeah. See how cool is that? Yeah. See again, you've done actually a hell of a lot of attention detail, and again, it looks quite OEM. Oh yeah. You know, it's not just a cheap sort of no. you know switch, Some just for example, in. thrown in at the side. Exactly. You've actually utilised one of yeah, the original exactly. places. We'll that is a nice there. little touch to do like that. Yeah. And it's really coming along now. Oh, you've done so so much yeah. to it. Since, loads, honestly. mate. Loads, mate. And then I'll pop the bonnet. Gosh, you, again, the bonnet wasn't something because I know you weren't dead proud of it. Well, there was back no then. vents. There was no vents. So I thought it's a brand new bonnet that I got for forty quid. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to watch the video about myself actually. So I'm bad. I'm bad to grill. I'm bad to grill. Yeah, bad to grill now. <laughs> Can't believe I honestly have forgotten about all of these things. Who did you get the badge of the grill from? It was a guy who'd crashed his car and thought. Oh, was it? his name? Because that, that actually looks good. Because I'll be honest, you know, you do see some that look pretty bad. Yeah. But like, if it picks it up on camera, that actually does look really good. It's a nice gloss finish as well. Yeah. Like, just like mine, yeah. Nice new, gloss. New um, chrome trim here. Yeah. And then I've got a, I had a custom cap made here, and this is custom as well. Oh, that's cool. Little yeah. fez on there. Little Never fez, seen yeah. one of them before. Well, do you know the Cabris Fiesta, Scott? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know his. Yeah, follow him. His has got a bite on his dipstick. 
if you look, it's different because it's a chocolate bar that's Oh, yeah, it has. What? Could you, what's the same company? No, my mate. It's my mate, Duncan. He makes him. He's a fabricator. So he fabricated oh, this for that's me. That's so cool. And he did that. So if you need stuff doing, let me know. And also, Strut oh. Race is new as well. Oh, there you go. Well, if you heard that then, um, try and get in uh, touch with Steve. I guess you, we could always put yeah. his um, Instagram. I'll put it in yeah. the description anyway. Yeah. But, um, you know, if you want to obviously know about anything that he has got on his car, then obviously it'll help you out with um, pointing you in the right direction. That is really cool. I mean, I've actually just now gone to um, MK Customs to have new caps done for mine. So they're in the same Subaru Golds Morocco cover. But I wish I'd known before, because you know I would have loved, because my car's called Bluey, I could have got a little Bluey little toy. You could do that. You and could I could have that. it as the dipstick. That you would be cool. That. I would that, love yeah. that. That would be a future thing I could, could always do look at. And then obviously you've got the, the old uh, plate there. It's oh, not being cleaned yet. Not just that, but look how shiny that is. Yeah. Oh, it just makes me want to do mine, because. Yeah. I've just been doing all my um, engine bay today, ready for a lot of like shows coming up, so it's nice and clean and tidy. But one thing that does let it down is the inside of, well, any standard car, to be honest, is dull. It's not really finished, barely even painted. That's properly yep. painted. It's nice and glossy. Oh, I like that. Little etched in, if the camera picks it up. It's a clean, I've got to clean that guy, but yeah. And I think you, you already had the gas struts on, didn't yes. you? Yes. But the, everything looks clean. Yes. Like this did look really dirty, but like when you're looking on camera oh. now, like it's it's really oh, it's good. It's it was, so much better. more shiny. Well, come back for the Bats Power reunion last weekend, and yeah, I? so yeah, I had to get it ready. Still, a few bits and bats need to be doing and that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh no, as a whole, it looks uh, it, it looks so much more like a new car yes, now, yes. and like you know, it's more deserving of yes. it. You know, it is like a show car now. Like it had so much things that needed TLC oh. done to it which we did go on about I remember yeah. in the first video well it had that it had that terrible lack of appeal for terrible lack of appeal the, yeah lack of appeal was yeah it was really really bad but also just like the damage on the doors yeah. and th there was so much actually I just noticed the um sun strip yes I've seen it go on the other side no, I think I can pick it up now. is it that's the logo now done by Dick Monkey Garage how cool is that so that's a custom yeah, custom, that's custom uh, yeah. I like that because to be honest what's quite cool is it's not actually a sun strip oh Wow. <laughs> Let's go around to the back now. Oh, actually, this is another thing that's just finished. I just remembered. Yeah. <laughs> the scoop's gone. And look at how glossy yeah. that roof is. So originally, was it a wrap? Or no, it was like, was it, it just bad paint? It, it, it was. It looked like it'd be great. And there wasn't even the rubber strips here along the sides. Oh, gosh, yeah, now I should have fitted them as well. Them but the scoop's gone. And weirdly, I sort of said to you, I'm going to get a head-on shot. Yeah. I remember saying to you, I think you should keep it. But do you know oh, what? Right. Remember, but yeah. do you know what? I don't know. I think you have actually done. Now yeah. I can see it as it is. Like, look in there. Look how photogenic it is. I think it gets rid of that cheap look. Yeah. I think it looks it, wasn't it looks smart. Thing. It wasn't and it wasn't functional, exactly. Which is true. Fun. But to be honest, I did like it because I love rally cars. Rally cars is probably my favourite motorsport. Well, so to have nice. a roof scoop on a car like this, I thought was brilliant. But... Oh, yeah. To be honest, now when I'm just looking at it on the on the camera, and well, I'm in person, but on the camera, it's so photogenic and it does look better. And actually, it probably gives it a lower profile now. Yes, it's up there. Look at that shot on camera now. Dead jealous, bloody hell! It's it's it looks awesome now. It looks so mean. Um, right, yeah. So let's just go around to the back. They're probably not. I'm guessing not a lot has happened here, but you did save upgraded well, the lights, so I'm just going to see what yeah. they look like actually. Oh, a minute. Is that new? The single yeah, light single on the light, rear. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. Everything along the back, it all looks so nice and shiny. Whoa, they're really nice and bright. Yep. Wow. Finally got Ellie. Also as well. Yeah, because uh, originally these were just like standard just halogen bulbs. bulbs. And what was stupid is, I think this is what I said in the video, is, is these are LEDs. They come standard and these are extremely rare. They're from Germany, I know, because I tried to research them and find them, but they've never even replied back to me. Because originally I did want these before I got mine tinted. Yes. But um, they let them down. But look how much more modern that looks now. Oh, Having the bright um, LED indicators in reverse. Yeah, they look really cool. Well, that's the fogs as well. As well. well, this side. You see, they're already LED though, as standard. It, and, exactly. and look at them, they look so good. Well, they weren't both working. This reverse light wasn't working. Right. And this fog light wasn't working. So my auto just has wired them in properly, so they all work now. Oh, that's another little touch. Oh, yes. The sorry. black. Yes. That, again, you know what? It's yeah. all these little subtle differences that that, yeah. it breaks up the lines. It yes. gives it, it actually gives it a more aggressive look. That was just yeah. pure blue, wasn't it? Was it was just blue, yeah. It came to, when, when I was having some work done, I, I actually said, I rang him up and said, tell you what, do that, do that strip in between the reflectors. Paint that gloss. Is, it, a, is it painted? It's painted, yeah. Oh, see, again, you've done it properly. Yeah. yeah. Exhaust the same. Yeah, exhaust is the same, yeah. But I do like the little, um, I do like the little single light at the back. That's really nice. That's yeah. a nice touch, that. 
I mean, obviously, you've got your private reg as well, which is cool. I would love for something like that one day. I would love something like that one day. Yeah, so uh, before we put it away, obviously, I'll just say a big thanks to obviously Steeter driving down here. Um, I know it's not, you know, dead close to come down here, but, um, you know, really glad that he did. I think it's absolutely awesome. It's getting quite dark um, now, which is why I'm sort of going to rush to sort of end the video, really, because we want to try and get a few pictures together, you know, some nice Instagram shots, maybe a couple of videos. Oh, yeah. um, definitely want to do something like that, but... Yeah, seeing it in person is awesome. If you haven't seen this couch, I think a lot of people probably have. It, it doesn't seem to go to quite a lot of shows now, don't you? Oh, no, <laughs> I'm yeah. jealous at how many shows you do get to go to, but it is a proper sort of showstopper of a car. There's not many, you know, never mind, you know, the Mark 6 is sort of becoming quite rare now, really. They are, you know, dropping in numbers. People are either ruining them, wrecking them, scrapping them, stripping them. Um, and this is obviously very, very, very unique. I call it sort of a unicorn car, really. The Lambo doors are a very Marmite mod. Personally, yes. I think it suits this car. Yes. It is that kind of max power, you know, very, very loud over the top, but it just looks awesome. All the mods you've done are so tasteful. They are tasteful, and if I had it, this is the sort of thing I would do. Even just the little touches, the wheels fit perfectly. Those lights yeah. are really cool. Um, you know, just the just that little black strip at the back just catches my eye that you know, when people have it just solid blue, it doesn't look as good, but just little touches like that. Right, everyone, I'm just cropping this into the video quickly. I'm actually, we're all hood and hid underneath the tree because it's just started to rain. But um, I was just going to ask Steve then is, what's the next future plans then? Because uh, to be honest, looking at it, yeah. there's not much I can see that you need to do. So it's more what you want to do or the thought. I know actually one thing I will say is, is I'm, and I know you're going to look at doing stuff to the interior, aren't you? What's the name of them called? Because they do look very, very MTS good. MTS Customs. MTS Customs. Um, I do follow them on Instagram. And to be honest, I think that's who I want to go with. Yeah. When I get my seats retrimmed, I do want to go with them just because good. they look very, very good. They're probably not going to be cheap, but it looks... The, the, yeah, it look, the, the quality is like, you know, what you're getting, like supercars, oh, to be honest. Okay, gotcha. um, yeah. But yeah, I do know that's one of the things I think I'm going to guess that you're still going to well, do, bought, aren't you? Well, I've bought a second preface dash. Oh, so right, gonna, okay. we're going to redo it all. Ah, so then you can just do a swap. Yeah, we're going to do fresh. That's brilliant. But it's well worn. As yeah. You know, like we spoke in the last video, it's well worn. Yeah. Um, and then I've actually bought some uh, fiberglass ready-made boot fills that used to be in a, in a car age school so they're going to oh, go in the cool. back so what, what's going to be in that then well speakers i'm well, going yeah. to guess well, on those pictures that i showed you in the original one well i bought some audio barn speakers to be upside down again in the back it's right. kind of bringing it back not as big but bringing it back a bit and do me own little twist oh. So a boot build, that. yeah. that's true actually, that's something I've never, oh, so you know, we haven't looked at. There now. There's a flat floor in there now. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. I'll, I'll crop little pictures up or whatever, you know, you can send me some. So yeah, so as well as as well as well the boot build and things on the interior. The possibly drop the ST180 engine in out of the ST. Oh, really? There, yeah. Okay, so you're going to go to the 16 Turbo? Yeah. Ah, just okay. A, just a, I mean, it's, it's, it is powerful as it is now, to be fair. It's doing, yeah. it's, I'm happy with it at the moment, you know yeah. what I mean? I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. that in the future. Thanks everyone for watching the video. Definitely give the video a big thumbs up. Um, and if you are, then that means you obviously really like the car. <laughs> Comment away. And um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for uh, future videos. Thanks, bye.